Gia Hua says Celtics should trade for Victor Oladipo and Miles Turner for Gordon Hayward all the picks this year and a first-round pick next year. The Celtics need something so they can make it to the finals. So I, I do think it's possible to trade all those picks. You have three first-round picks. You've got the 14th overall pick, you got the 26th overall pick, and you got the 30th overall pick. You package all those with Gordon Hayward. I do think that's possible. I think the Pacers are ready to get rid of Miles Turner's contract. Victor Oladipo does not want to be in Indiana anymore. If they want both of those guys... I think the three first-round picks this year and a future first-round picks are the things that are going to have to get moved to get uh, Turner and Victor Oladipo in the same trade. I, I like this idea, and I do think this gets done on both sides. Let's go to Matthew Phipps. says, Celtics acquire Joel Embiid and Shake Milton. 76ers get the 14th overall pick, the 30th overall pick, or the 26th overall pick, excuse me, Hayward and Grant Williams. Hmm, this is not bad. Not bad. Um, I don't think the Sixers love the idea of getting Gordon Hayward. I also don't know if the 14th overall pick is enough. Um, I think you got to throw in maybe a Robert Williams, uh, one of their big men, or a Daniel Tice, even though I know they have Al Horford. I think the Sixers say no, but I think there's also a chance that the Celtics say no because they love Grant Williams, and I think they think that he can develop into a really nice player. Now, will he ever be Joel Embiid? No, absolutely not, but he can be a very good player in his own right. Now, what you guys need to acquire via trade of cash is chatsports.com slash NBA masks. These awesome face masks, they are available for up to 30% off. Go get one today, whoever your favorite team is, whatever your favorite style is. Go pick one up for a low, low price. You can get one, packs of two, packs of three, or packs of four. You can buy your whole family one uh, for Halloween. I guess you want to wear a Halloween mask? This works as well. Chatsports.com slash NBA mask. The season's coming back a little sooner than we expected. You're going to have to wear a face mask if you want to go watch your favorite team play. So go check them out today at Fanatics. That link is going to be in the comment section, and it's going to be in the description. But if you need it one more time, go ahead, open up a new tab. You can hear me say it in the background chatsports.com slash NBA mask. Emmanuel Corker says Celtics trade Marcus Smart, Gordon Hayward, Daniel Tice in the 26th for Brandon Ingram. Wow. So obviously this would have to be a sign and trade uh, type of scenario. And man, I, I don't hate this, but I don't think New Orleans would say yes. And here's why. New Orleans is trying to stay young and they're trying to build for the future. Now Marcus Smart and Gordon Hayward together probably close to equal value as Brandon Ingram. Maybe not quite, but close when it comes to actual production on the court next year. But for the future, Brandon Ingram is far more valuable than Marcus Smart and Gordon Hayward. Daniel Tice, I don't think, really moves the needles, needle for the New Orleans Pelicans. And that 26 pick is fine, but again, it's another thing that just doesn't move the needle. I think the Pelicans say no, but it at least gets these two teams talking. Now, if you're an NBA fan or an NFL fan, uh, you can subscribe to youtube.com slash chat sports TV. And if you're saying, hey, Jimmy, I want to get my questions answered. I want to get up on the screen. I have things I want to talk about in the NBA. What's going on? Why can't you answer my questions? It's probably because you're not tuned in to our live show. We go live every single Friday at 3 p.m. Central Time. So youtube.com slash chat sports TV. There's a big red button down below. All you got to do is hit subscribe and make sure you turn on your notifications or else you might miss our next live show again every Friday afternoon. I'm live for a whole, whole hour answering your questions. Chris O'Malley asking Christian Wood to Boston. I like this. I like this a lot because Christian Wood's uh, value right now, according to Bobby Marks VSPN, is around that $9 million mark, which I think is crazy because I think he's worth at least 12 to $15 million at this point because he's still super young. I think he'd be a great fit in Boston. My only problem is with Boston – you already have Robert Williams. You already have Ennis Cantor. You, well, I guess you don't. He's a free agent. You have Daniel Tice. You also have Vincent Poirier. You also have Grant Williams. You also have Jason Tatum. Those guys all play the big position. Christian Wood is a forward or sometimes a center. But if you commit to playing him at the center alongside Tatum, I think it could work. Now, if you're a Celtic fan, you want to keep up with what they're going to do all offseason long, whether it's in free agency or in the NBA draft where they have three first-round picks, you're going to want to make sure you subscribe to chatsports.com slash 
Celtics TV. That link is in the comments and it's in the description as well. If you're a Celtics fan or if you're just a generic NBA fan, you're not going to want to miss anything I put out on that channel. It's chatsports.com slash Celtics TV. Bolt one says Celtics get TJ Warren and Miles Turner. Pacers get Hayward Cantor, 14th pick, and the Celtics first round pick. The problem is, number one, Ennis Cantor is a free agent. Well, I guess he's a $5 million player option, so he could te technically be on the book. So let's assume he opts in, and it's Hayward Cantor, 14, and another first. <sighs> I think Indiana's going to say no. I think they really value TJ Warren now. And here's the thing. Warren is probably a little bit better right now than Gordon Hayward, just, just by a smidge. Miles Turner is better than Ennis Cantor. 14th pick is kind of a huge mystery. And then the Celtics' first round pick, we don't really know what that's going to be at the end of the first round. So I think Indy says no, but this is close to being able to get it done. All right, Paul Christian coming in and says, Andrew Wiggins to the Cavs. And then number 14, Jalen Brown to Golden State. Drummond in number two to Boston. So we got the Cavs, the Warriors, and Boston all mixed in in here. All right, so let me turn my brain, my thinking brain on so I can get this three-team trade all sorted out. Wiggins goes back to Cleveland where he was originally drafted. 14 and Jalen Brown go to Golden State. And then Drummond and number two go to Boston. I think Boston says no because Jalen Brown is way better than what you're going to get at the number two overall pick in my opinion. And Andre Drummond, I, I mean, they like him, but I don't think they're in love with the idea of getting him. I think the Warriors would definitely say yes. And I think the Cavs would even say yes to this one as well. I think they would like Wiggins over Andre Drummond at this point. So, Almost close to getting it done. I think you're about two-thirds of the way there. But the problem is Boston is not going to give up Jalen Brown plus a lottery pick to get a guy in Andre Drummond that just hasn't really been that great these past few years. And then number two also doesn't really help them win all that much right now. But I think it's at least an interesting question there, Paul. And I think a three-team trade like that could potentially get it done. Let's go to Dominic Bruce. Who's the best free agent? Pretty plain and simple question. Pretty plain and simple answer. It's Anthony Davis. Now... Is he really a free agent? Eh, not really, because he does have a player option, but also he's just going to re-sign with the Los Angeles Lakers uh, after he opts out of that deal. Uh, if you want one that's actually might be available, I think Brandon Ingram, but I think Brandon Ingram will go right back to New Orleans because he is a restricted free agent. So those two guys, I mean, you also have guys like Montrezl Harrell, Fred Van Fleet that are available. Davis Bertans is a good one as well, but I think when you're talking your absolute best free agent, it's Anthony Davis. Paul Christian says top three draft prospects in 2021. Number one, Cade Cunningham, go Pokes. Number two, Jalen Green. So that kid's going to be coming out of the G League. Uh, I really, really like him. Is Amani Bates in 2021? I got to look this up now. Uh, but if Amani Bates is there at tw in the 2021 draft, he has to be the best. No, he's not. So, man, I'll go Jalen Green, Cade Cunningham, and probably... Evan Mosley, uh, excuse me, Evan Mo or, oh, Mobley, golly, I can't talk, Evan Mobley out of USC is a big man who can kind of do it all. So those will be my top three, but the top two are real easy for me.